Hi guys, it's Ricky from communicationgeneration.com and today we're going to use H5P to create a little drop and drag game. And I'll give you a little example of what I mean. This is one I created a little while ago and then it has correct answers and incorrect answers and you put the correct answer in to finish the sequence. This is a quite a simple one and and we're going to give a little three stars once that's completed and people can check it and you can see that you could possibly use this for a lot of different applications then we're actually using the h5p wordpress plugin then you might not realize that after you've inserted the h5p plugin you get to create all this different type of content by clicking add new down in the menu here on the left and you can also see all the content that you've created in the past and you can also add new and if you add new that's what it'll look like and you get a little preview of each one of them and if I click add new it'll look like this for a drop and drag and that's the one we're working on today and I also create a few different types then check out some of the other videos I've uploaded in the past to see those and to hurry things along I'm actually going to go into the edit of one of the ones I have created in the past and we'll see what it look like what it looks like in a sec and it's this one I made then I'm actually going to simply copy this and use that as my template for my new one then I'm back here on the add new tab then instead of going through all that setting up I'm going to press paste and replace and it'll say replace content and there we are otherwise I would have started from scratch and you'll see why I've done that in a second then the first thing you do is usually you upload your background image then I'm replacing them then I'm using my new image and I'll upload it and uh, by the way to create these images I'm sort of like moving things around in Inkscape and I'm creating my images for the background of these in Inkscape usually you won't have to do anything this complicated to do an image sequence pairing game and when I'm exporting I'm exporting them at roughly the size that it asks for on H5P all right we took a few little diversions there but basically yes we're uploading an image to start with that's the thrust of it then once we have our image we can put in the meta tags and that sort of thing I've created this myself then I don't need to do that but I, I might want to do it anyway edit copyright and I can put in uh, the source and the license that that was used and then I'll go over to the task and I accidentally uh, used uh, exported this at the wrong size and I'll fix that then if you do make a mistake like that you can go back to step one uh, click on delete it and then I'll add it again which is uh, this image here it's uploading and then we'll go to task 2 or task 2 here click this one and then you can see uh, these fields and I already have these notes which are the ones I'm choosing from I already have that those loaded from the previous game I made and in this one there's only one correct answer then I'll delete that and I'll move this over here that's the correct answer and this is the incorrect answer I'll show you how to do those from scratch as well but for now I'll, I'll load these up with the correct answers and I'll start with the correct answer which is this quarter note and then I'll go and put that uh, which is the correct answer done and then I'll have to tell this box which one to accept and it's this quarter note not the half note I'll click done and these are all incorrect answers then I'll go and check that they're all marked as incorrect nope not this one not the same as the previous game and then I'll check these ones not this one 
And done. It's not that one. I'm pretty sure these will have all been changed. Not this one. And this one here, not this one either. Not this one. All right. And then I can click done. And now we have to tell this box here that it has to accept all these as correct answers or incorrect answers, if that makes sense. Then we'll go in and edit that. And you'll notice that they're all loaded up here. There's a new one we have to add. Now we'll press done. Then now it should accept these as all incorrect answers and all these as otherwise. Then if we didn't already have these quarter notes here, all these different notes, we could we could add them as text or we could add an image, uh, sort of drag it in, say it was that thing. And then, you know, it would come up there, but I'm actually going to remove it. Um, I'm not going to add any new ones in, but that's how you would add a new one to drag in. And you can sort of like adjust the size of them. You can adjust the transparency. You can do all sorts of things like that to make this all look uniform and pretty. You can sort of select one and copy it if you want multiple ones the same. Um, I think I have a few too many incorrect answers here. Then I'm going to remove a few of these incorrect ones actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. There's too many. You can put some tags in here as well. Separate tags with commas. And then once you have it, you're ready to create. And I'll click create. It'll make it. And then we can test it and look at it. All right. Uh, I'm not, you know, like I, c I can make some changes here. Let's test it first anyway. This is the correct answer. These are the incorrect answers. If I try and put it here, it won't really accept it. To put it in the correct box. Um, quarter note is correct. Well done. Uh, that's I've actually uh, clicked a box, and I'll show you that in a second, how I got it to say that. But that looks like it's pretty well working. It's a little bit off, off screen here, but all pretty well working. This code here, uh, this is the short code. Then if you drop that in your WordPress site, uh, this will, will come up. And you can actually um, simply drop that code in. Or you can use the embed code here, which is what I'm using because I'm actually putting this in another website. Then I'm using this code a lot. And there's, there's a few different options, but generally that's the idea of how to create one of these finish the sequence games. Then I've made a few different ones like this on WordPress. Then drop in and check it out. Thanks for watching.